Mr. Cassidy. Yes. <clears throat> How are you enjoying your new offices? Very pleased, thank you. Great, great to hear. Uh, our leasing department has ordered the plasma televisions that you requested, and we expect to have them installed by the end of the week. Excellent, thank you. Please don't hesitate to let us know if we can do anything else. Nicholas, listen, I know you've never considered me a good match for Lulu, and I, I know that I've screwed up, but I just care about the girl so much. Oh. <laughs> Sister. All right, come here, come here, get up, get up. Uh, I can tell on. you again. All right, all right, take it easy, take it easy. All right, all right. All right, everybody. Show's over. Show's over. So what did you do? What did you do, Cass and I, get him all bent out of shape? I just approached him, man, to, act, to apologize for hurting Lulu. The guy's got a freaking screw loose, dude. Second time he's almost killed me. Well, let me just give you a little free advice here, okay? The Cassadines are inbred psychopaths, and they have a lot of money that makes them dangerous. The Spencers are working class, but they're prone to violence, you see? So what it boils down to is you have really messed up. You hurt Lulu. They care about her. So if I was you, I would slither out of town quietly and quickly before somebody else goes off on you. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, you and Nicholas can both forget that, all right? There's no way that I'm going to give up on the best thing that's ever happened to me just because the family's a bunch of idiots. You know, you're missing the point. And if I spoke lizard, I'd put it in your own language, but I don't. So understand this. You jerked around a pretty girl that everybody in this town loves. I got it. I screwed up. All right? But what nobody seems to want to care about or, or listen to is the fact that I care about her so much. All right? But that doesn't make me a saint. I was attracted to Maxie. I slept with her. But mostly just to shut her up. You've got a lot of excuses there, don't you? Look, I did not know how much I cared about Lulu until after I'd already agreed to do the deal with Maxie. I was wrong. But that doesn't make me the first guy in history to have, you know, bad judgment or lousy timing. Well, you got that right. There you go. Clean yourself up. Why have you been all nice all of a sudden? Wait a minute. You got the DNA test back, didn't you? Proved on your son. Uh -huh. Stop this father-son monkey business. You're not my son. I just happen to be a compassionate guy. You see, I've gotten myself in a few messes, so I got a little sympathy for you. You see, I can't figure out if this is you trying to con me or you being sincere. Okay, but either way, I'm not giving up on Lulu. Check you later. Carly? Yeah. What the hell do you want? Listen, all right, I just, I'd like a minute, okay, to just explain what happened with the Lulu and... Look at you. You know, I don't want to hear it. Don't start whining to me about how bad you feel for hurting Lulu. You're a lowlife, just like your father. But you can bet this, you will never hurt my cousin again. Just listen, okay? I understand your instinct to protect her. I don't want to hear it, okay? I know all about your skeevy deal with Maxie. You not only hurt Lulu, you failed to guard my kids when you were hired to do exactly now, wait, that. Wait, no, wait you a wait a minute, okay? You're lucky to still be breathing. Be smart. Get the hell out of town. Go back to Texas. I don't care, but leave poor Charles and stay the hell away from my cousin. Oh, hey. Pot. Meat kettle. Carly, when you blew into town within months, you were sleeping with your own mother's husband. What has this, this kid really done that's so bad compared to the wake of destruction that you've left in your path? So where do you get off being so self-righteous? Well, of course you'd be defending your loser son. You want to help Logan? Tell him to stay away from Lulu. What, what, what are you going to do? You, you're going to call Sonny and have him fitted for cement shoes? I was talking about Luke. When he finds out that your son hurt his daughter, he's going to take the Baldwin-Spencer feud to a whole new level. Hey, Spinelli. Lulu, there's got to be a way to work through this, okay? I'm not over you. No matter what you say, I know you're not over me. 